Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Boston Jay and this is Wicked Pissa. Well, today I took a trip out and I'm all the way about two hours away from my house and I'm at the Spring Hill Cemetery and I've got a very special guest with me. And today we're going to film here. We're going to do a few videos together. We're going to film around the area and we'll see what we can get into. So uh, for now, that's it. We'll be back with you. Have fun. I'm just going to do a quick... Now, correct me if I'm wrong, this is an African-American only yes. cemetery. Mm -hmm. Okay, dates back to when? Oh, God. 1800s sometime. I'm not... Eight, 1800s? Got a story on it, too. Yeah, back in the 1800s. Now, across the street, I wish we could go over there. Me and, me and Patty had snuck over there one time. Well, there was no, no trespassing signs when we went over there. We went over there several times and made a video. But our last trip over there to make a video... When you first pull in outside, so mm -hmm. pulling in here, we parked and we walked across the street. Okay. There's a cemetery over there in that property. And it's an but older it's, older one? It, yeah. It all belongs, it's a Likes, Likes family cemetery. And this all belonged to the Likes at one time. This was donated from the Likes for the African Americans. But the Likes are on that side, but there's not very many graves. Oh, there's okay. There's some beautiful tombstones over there, like a couple of really nice, great condition. It's like, how that, you know? They're buried in the 1800s, early 1900s. How the hell is their, their tombstone so nice? But, um, yeah, he's got them big no trespassing signs up. They put gates up now. Just like what I was pointing at. That was that red murder house. Yeah, the murder house. Yeah. yeah that, they got a bulldozer there. They're going to tear it down. They're going to tear it down. Why do they start digging? To probably find something over I'm there. I'm sure. I'm sure. That's crazy. I wanted to do a picture for, um, me to post later on, like, Instagram for us. Well, I guess there's nothing to do but uh, just walk around and... Yeah, let me get a picture of us. If I can do it with this finger, probably not. All right, let me get on this side. I need my better side. There you go. All right. I don't want to post them now because people, you know, if I post and put a comment... So I don't want anybody knowing where we are. Right. We don't need anybody snooping up on us. Right. So as you heard, Marie was just selling, telling everybody that the, this is a African American graveyard, and it is dates back to the 1800s. And um, we'll try to do a little bit of EVP in here if we can. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I mean, uh, right now it's very, um, very calm, very quiet. It's, um, you know, uh, it's not, um, like I don't feel uncomfortable here right now. I feel very welcome. And, um, you know, I, as I always do when I come into a cemetery, I always like to tell Spirit that I'm here as a friend. I'm here not to disturb you in any way. I'm not here to cause you any harm. I'm just basically here to tell your story and to be as respectful as I possibly can be. I don't want you to feel uncomfortable, and I don't want you to make me uncomfortable. So if you feel as though you want me to leave, please feel free. Speak right into my ear. Speak into my camera. Let me know that you don't want me here, and I will leave. I will show you the respect that you deserve if you show me respect as well. So that's where we're at. A lot of the um, a lot of the graves that 
you'll see some of them are older like this one here that are handmade and hand carved A lot of the flowers that you see here, Marie put by her, put here on her own. Don't know that you can see that, but it's uh, 1934. They say that this cemetery is a little bit haunted, but what cemetery isn't haunted? I mean, you've got spirit that are in the, in the area that, that are here, and they, this is where they feel the most comfortable, so that's where they're going to stay. And this is where, you know, they find peace. So they're going to be here. Now, like I said, right now, it's calm, it's quiet, it's very comfortable. I don't feel, um, I don't feel unwanted. Um, there's been times where I've entered a place where it it's just feels wrong to even be there. And here, I don't, I don't feel that. It's, um... It's in the middle of the woods, so it's quiet back here, and, you know, it, it is what it is, you know, um, hopefully with any luck we'll, we'll get some sort of EVP on the camera. Um, I will run Spirit Box for a little while to see if uh, maybe something comes through on Spirit Box, but we'll um, we'll have to wait and see. Um, what we uh, what we come across, I'm not getting anything um, as far as empath empathic feelings or anything like that. Um, I'm sure I've told everybody before that I am a bit empathic and that, you know, you know, I can, I can get that feeling when I, when I enter a place or when I'm in some area that, that will affect me right now. I don't have any effect whatsoever here. It's, it's quiet. It's peaceful. It's just how it's how you would imagine a cemetery to be um, you know during the day um, sure at night there's a different um, a different story at night maybe probably a completely different feel at night It's um, sad to see that a cemetery as beautiful as this, you know, some of the uh, gravestones like this one right here is kind of leaning over. It's too bad that uh, somebody doesn't come and straighten that out and pick, fix that, you know. People, I think, would like to, you know, be in their resting place and have things be, you know, nice in a way where they're, this is where they are and this is where they're comfortable. Things to be, you know, good for them.
I'm gonna be quiet for a few minutes here and we're gonna see if we hear anything or see anything out of the ordinary but as it is right now I don't see or feel anything um, odd so I'm gonna be quiet for a second and we're gonna just listen Got Marie over there flying the drone. Getting a few drone shots. It's a beautiful little cemetery. I wish it was kept up a little bit better than, than what it is. It's a nice little place. Like I said, quiet. Okay, well, I'll be back with you in a little bit. I'm going to pause here and maybe run some EVP. Okay, okay we're running EVP now. We're going to see if we catch anything. Is there anybody that would like to speak with me today? I'm here to talk with you. I'm here to hear your story. If you'd like to talk to me, we can you can come and speak right into this box and I'll be able to hear you. Okay, I think I hear you, but I'm not sure. Could you come and speak to me again?
Okay, I'm not getting much of EVP. I'm going to shut the camera off for a few minutes. I'm going to switch over to my um, digital recorder to see if I can hear anything. Come and talk to me. You can do that through this little black box. You can come right up to this box and talk to me and I'll be able to hear you. I have my digital recorder running right now. Once again, I'm here with love and peace and I'm just here to to talk and chat and to get your story if you want to tell it. Just picking up wind sounds, mostly. Not picking up much of anything. I'm not getting anything on the on the digital recorder. I'm gonna keep running on it though, just to be sure. Um, what I like to do when I run my digital recorder, I like to put in a headphone. That way, I can I can hear everything in real time on the digital recorder. But the more I talk, the less I hear. So I try to be quiet and Hearing some thunder. Uh, we got lucky a little bit with the rain. I got nothing on EVP. You got nothing? Nothing. It's just so weird because this is so calm today. I'm just amazed at how calm.
calm it is. I mean, I'm running digital, but even even on the digital recorder for five minutes now, I've got nothing. nothing. Did you get anything out of the spirit box? Nothing on the spirit box. Oh my gosh. I said it felt different today. It's yeah. like calm. It's very calm. Very quiet. I haven't heard like spooks that scared me, except I felt like something was walking behind me. Other than that, I really haven't haven't felt much at all. Where's the grave of that little girl? The the, the little. Right, somebody else is pulling it. right up here. See where the fence is? Oh, okay, good. I wanted to film there. Okay, go ahead. Okay, we just had somebody pull into the cemetery here. And... I don't have the clip on my back. Oh, wonderful. Now, this is the grave of a uh, little girl that has been visited many times by Omar and by the, the G team and by Marie. Marie, I know, has left flowers here many times. I did this whole cemetery. I know. I made sure I mentioned that. Yeah. And this is the grave of the, the little girl or child, it's a child. We don't, well, we can only assume that it's a little girl. She's got a little girl's name, Shanaya or Sh Sh Shana. Oh, there's her stone, okay. But last time me and Angie was here, there's a stone here that I never even knew was here. 2007. Hopefully he's just passing through. Yeah. You can I mean, see lots of people who left stones, they've left gift cards, they've left little toys, little little trinkets for the for the child here. That, that's that's very sweet. Okay, I'm going to stop recording. Don't stop recording. On my on recorder, I mean. We're going to continue to record on the cameras just in case. This one. That one there. Michael Talaferro. Don't know that you can see that because of the water, but let's see if I can get a better shot. He died in 2006. Rest in peace, Mike. Okay, we're running EVP now, and we're going to see if we catch anything.
Is there anybody that would like to speak with me today? I'm here to talk with you. I'm here to hear your story. If you'd like to talk to me, we can. you can come and speak right into this box and I'll be able to hear you. Okay, I think I hear you, but I'm not sure. Could you come and speak to me again? Okay, I'm not getting much of EVP. I'm going to shut the camera off for a few minutes. I'm going to switch over to my um, digital recorder to see if I can hear anything. A lot of the graves here are like this, older and handwritten. Um, you know, quite basically because, mostly because of the fact that, you know, gravestones can be expensive and, you know, some folks just can't afford it. So they do this. And that's fine because their loved ones know how much they care and how much they're loved. I kind of, myself, personally, I like, I like it better seeing a handwritten one like this better than a, a carved one that's been, you know, that's been around for a long time um, because of the fact that, you know, it just means a little more. And um, Marie's still walking around quite a bit. She's, she's trying to get a feel for the place. I personally, I've looked around and I have, you know, not really felt much of anything here. So I'm going to probably end it right here. Um, I appreciate you coming along with me on this journey and on this little little adventure of mine and i thank you for you know watching if you haven't already please drop a like down on the uh, on this video for me that'd be great if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe and um you know feel free to share the video if you'd like um if you like what you see please let me know comment below if you'd like to see more videos like this, then, you know, tell me about it. And I'll, I'll try to get out and I'll do more videos like this. So, that's going to be it for now. I'm Boston J. This has been Wicked Pissa. Be good. And if you can't be good, be good at it.